Good evening, everybody. It's exciting in East Lansing tonight. Two excellent football teams collide, Jim Miller, and, and tonight the Spartans get a chance to represent themselves against a top 10 ranked team. As a matter of fact, a top five ranked team in the Wisconsin Badgers. And it's a battle of quarterbacks, Jim Miller. Kirk Cousins now in his third year as a captain and starter for the Spartans. And Russell Wilson, the transfer student from North Carolina State, who actually leads the country in passing efficiency. But it seems to me, Jim, he throws when he wants to, up to now anyway, not when he has to. Might change the night. Keyshawn set to the right. Le'Veon Bell now, and at running back behind Todd Anderson. Play fake up the middle, handoff to Cunningham, running right. Double reverse handoff to Keyshawn, running left. At the 20, at the 15, at the 10, at the 5. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, MSU. With a field goal try by fifth-year senior Philip Welch from the right hash at the 20. Block! But the Spartans block it. Blocked by Darquez Denard. Keyshawn and BJ, wide side right. Selick tight left, Linthicum on the wing, and the left starts in motion right. Set back Edwin Baker, Kirk back to throw. Takes his time, guns it over the middle, caught by BJ at the 20. He's at the 15, to the 10, to the 5, into the end zone. Touchdown, MSU. First punt of the day for Norton. He averages almost 43 and a half per punt. Spartans look like they're coming right after him, and why not? Here they come. The got it! Is blocked. They got it's it! Blocked. It's scooped up inside the five-yard line, and now a scramble for it near the goal line. Kyler Ellsworth blocked the punt, and it is a Spartan touchdown. They have recovered. The Spartans recover. That's how a you dramatic, get... dramatic change from early in the ball game. Kirk's in the shotgun by himself. Quick throw, caught over the middle by Keyshawn, trying Got to cut block. it outside. He's at the 10, he's at the 5. Inside that far right pylon, touchdown MSU! Huge call, 3rd and 7, Spartans at their 25. Three-man diamond formation to the right. Le'Veon and BJ set left. Shotgun snap to Kirk. Guns at left side, caught by Le'Veon. Got a first down! Kirk by himself in the shotgun. Now Keyshawn's in motion, left to right. Kirk rolls to his left. Shovel pass to Keyshawn. Keyshawn got a first down out over the 45. One last shot with four seconds to play to avoid overtime. Badgers have three defenders back inside the five-yard line. Kirk rolls to his right. Finally sends a long spiral to the end zone. Tapped he got right it! And caught at the goal line. Caught at the goal line. He got over, George. Are they going to rule this short? Keith Nickel. Are they going to rule this short? The tip ball, exactly like I explained. Keith Nickel got it, and I believe Nick he crossed the goal line, George. Keith Nickel did pull it down. The Hail Mary up in the air. Tapped by Wisconsin. Tapped around again. Keith Nickel caught it. Fought his way to the goal line. Looked like yeah. he twisted his way in. It looks like he twisted his way in. Oh, well, you know, it's the last play Start of the, the game. It's got to be reviewed. At the goal line. Clock run out. <laughs> the previous play is be under reviewed. further review. they got to review this call. They've got to review this call. Unbelievable. Exactly like I explained to you, viewers, you got the he, Kirk Cousins throws it to the middle receiver. It gets tipped, and I believe that ball breaks the, the, the goal, the plane of the goal line, George. That's all that needs. The tip of the ball needs to break the, the plane of the goal line. That is incredible execution by Michigan State on the final play of the game. Wisconsin fighting to hold Keith Nickel out. I don't believe they did. It appeared to me he broke the plane. That's why you practice the Hail Mary drill, and that's exactly what they did. Looking for the tip ball, you never know what can happen. You have three receivers in that area. Just like I said, that time it was actually the Wisconsin defender that tipped it in the air, allowing Keith Nickel the opportunity to, to catch it and, and get in the end zone. And I believe he got in the end zone. If, if they don't give uh, this call to Michigan State, it would be a travesty. The ruling on the field was he was short of the end zone. 
And all it is is the it's the front of the white. It's not the back of the white into the end zone. It's the soon as it crosses that that painted line in the front of the goal line. It's a touchdown. That's considered breaking the plane. He broke the plane and then was after pushed further down. review, the runner did cross the line. The goal line. There it is. There it is. Spartans win. Unbelievable. Touchdown. Touchdown. MSU. It couldn't have gone any other way, George. It couldn't have gone any other way. What a finish. Oh, look at this crowd. A game of inches. Plenty of fans on the field. The Spartans rushing to the student section to celebrate with the band and the students. How about that? A last gasp. Hail Mary caught by Keith Nickel and give him some props. He wrestled his way into the end zone. Let's go to Jason Strayhorn with offensive line coach Mark State. I want to celebrate. Hey, coach, I, I'm going to let you celebrate, but wow, to talk about it. I'm telling you what, our boys came to play. They were tired of the disrespect, and so I think they gained a little bit more. All week we heard about how they did this and they did that, and that's why we won last year. Well, now we did something about it. That's right, coach. Go celebrate. Congratulations. All right, thank you very much. All right, guys, back to you. Wow. What a finish. What a ball game. There were punches and counter punches, but the last knockout punch was landed by the Spartans. I'll tell you what, that is uh, this the character of this football team. All the buildup of this week, and you know, you hear it there from tight ends or offensive line coach, uh, Coach Staten. Yeah, they were they were upset, they were frustrated. They felt they were getting disrespected. Jason Strayhorn trying to catch up with Kirk Cousins, but Kirk headed for the far corner to celebrate with the fans. He's rushing over there. He's leaping up. Well, I did, He's going to do an East Lansing leap. <laughs> well, they, this team should be pretty exciting. Look at this powerhouse of an offense of Wisconsin. And again, it's, it's, it's nothing against them. They are a quality program and a very powerful football team. And we'll break, George. We'll head down to the field talking to Jason Strayhorn again. All right, Keyshawn, one heck of a game here. Tell me how you feel. I feel, I mean, it's outstanding, man. Come in here, you know, prove everybody wrong. Everybody was doubting us, saying that we wasn't going to beat them. We played a good-ass game. And I'm just happy for my teammates. Everybody played good today. You did a great job, Keyshawn. Thank you, Congratulations. It. Thank you. I appreciate it. These guys are dancing. Spinning, shouting. And the crowd has stayed. They are jumping up and down, going ballistic here in East Lansing. Years from now, a lot of people are going to say they were here tonight, but we know 76,000 plus actually were, and it was a privilege, an absolute privilege to be here for this one. Well, it's just so frustrating. Even yeah, yeah, I'm sure the, the listeners out there got my heatedness. You know, I thought there were some bad calls. I'm going to be honest with you. It's 37 to 31. To me, you can take 14 points off the board on that 31 because Michigan State played a whale of a game defensively. This is the number one offense in the country. And realistically, 14 points should be taken off that board right now as far as I'm concerned. It only had to go Michigan State's way. For them not to get that call at the end, for him to break the goal line would be an absolute travesty for how this team performed tonight. We saw it. The coaches next door in the Spartan coaching box knew it. And it was a reverse call. The officials at first said no touchdown on the last play of the game. Took a longer, closer look, and they had to give it to the green and white. Final score, Michigan State 37, Wisconsin 31.